stay tuned and I'm going to share with you two juice recipes with ingredients that are proven to lower your blood pressure. So for the first juice recipe, you're going to need yellow watermelon, lemon, celery, Okay, so I have the pulp container over here um, to catch the juice because the watermelon is going to make so much juice. These jars equal to like two um, 32 ounce jars each. Now let's do the second juice. So we have red watermelon. We have romaine lettuce. We have a lime. Beetroot. And last but not least, ginger root. Okay, so started filling these up. We really have over a gallon, but not quite a gallon and a half, I guess. When you have watermelon juice, and especially watermelon, I guess all juices, but especially watermelon, you should make sure you fill the jar up to the top. I just want these all to taste the same, so you know how I always evenly distribute. Um, fill it up to the top because you don't want it to oxidize like watermelon juice can oxidize and ferment very quick even watermelon so I'm gonna fill these two up I put a lid on these so these can go in the fridge these are filled up and then for this one here I'm making more dirty dishes for myself. I'll pour myself a taste test. Well, not exactly a taste test, but you know. And then the rest my husband can drink. Hey guys, before I get into tasting the taste test, let's, let's, um, I got the red watermelon juice and the yellow watermelon juice here, but let's get into some facts. Okay, so according to um, universityhealthnews.com, watermelon contains an amino acid L-citrulline. L-citrulline changes over, it converts to L-arginine, 
And then that amino acid is needed so um, to bio, violate, dilate, dilate blood vessels. And so if you dilate the blood vessels, they're not working as hard. And so that can lower the blood pressure. And so then some other facts that I found was for um, beets, oops, according to nutritionfacts.org, that's Dr. Greger, beets, um, beets, I think they contain nitric oxide and then that helps dilate blood vessels and that lowers blood pressure. Let me see. So sometimes when you have beets, even eating, cooked raw, and then you have the beet juice, you know, your urine can get kind of red. That's nothing to be alarmed about. And you can also have the greens. So the nitrates, they deliver oxygenated blood to your muscles by helping dilate your arteries. Celery. This is on the icph.com. It's... Um, it's the International Conference of Public Health. So celery juice contains the phytochemical phthalides, P-H-T-H-A-L-I-D-E-S. It relaxes the tissue in the artery walls. And then, so that'll increase the blood flow and then your pressure will go down. So, yes. I want to give you some facts before I just you know, make claims. All right, so let's try the red watermelon juice, which also has the beets. Beets are, and, Beets are also good for the thyroid, and watermelon really um, is good for soreness. It's so hydrating and lubricating. You also got that ginger in there. That's a kick. Woo! In the back of my throat. Mm. Very watery. And still sweet, you know, there's romaine lettuce in there, and so that one we got our greens in too. And if you're going to make watermelon juice, make sure you add a citrus. Okay, and then, very celery. I can smell the celery, love it. Celery is what helped my blood pressure go down. It's not where I want it to be, but it's way down in the closet. Delicious. Give these recipes a try and comment if you do.